Okay, I'm going to show you how to install a Windows Server 2012 uh, server onto a vSphere environment. So we're setting it up as a virtual machine within vSphere. Uh, this is already assuming that you've got an ESX host configured on a separate server and uh, that you've got vSphere clients installed and connected to that ESX host which you can see here. So I'm already connected to 172.16.1.101, which is the server, which is the IP of my ESX host server. Uh, so we've already configured and installed that. And to create a new virtual machine, we want to right click oh, before we go there. So I've already created uh, resource pools uh, to sort of break up my servers into certain groups. You can also assign properties to those resource pools, but we won't go over that in this tutorial. So let's go right click new virtual machine all right so we'll set up a typical virtual machine we want to call it something so let's call it server 2012 test now I've got a couple of data stores configured uh, again depending on how you set up your environments uh, you may have a lot more of these if you've got say for example a SAN configured or you've got some extra storage or you may have one data store if your ESX host is only one uh, storage for example. So let's just say we want to set it up on data store 2 because I've got a fair bit of space free on that. What sort of server do you want to configure? So we're going to server 2012. What network card? In my case I've only got the one NIC, so the one network adapter. So we'll configure that. If again, if you have multiple, you can set up multiple. You can also configure how many NICs you want to connect. So how many virtual NICs do you want to have configured on that server? So let's just leave that as the default as one. How much storage do you want? So how big do you want the drive to be? So let's just say we want it to be 80 gig just for now. Okay. In the real world situation, you want your server to have a lot more storage than that. But for this exercise, we'll just do 80 gig. And then we want to configure what type of disk we want it to give it, whether it's thick, uh, lazy zeroed, eager zeroed, or thin provision. Uh, we won't go too much into those, but that has to do with how much storage you want to give that disk straight away, if you allow it to grow, if you allow it to be a certain size. So we'll just set it as the default for now, thick provision lazy zeroed all right and I want to say edit this virtual machine once I'm finished and continue now in here we can configure how much virtual memory we want to give it all right so how much RAM now this RAM is obviously going to be using physical RAM on your ESX host okay now again because this is just a simple demo we're going to give it two gig of RAM. If you have more, give it some more. How much CPUs do you want to give it? How many cores? Uh, again, this depends on how many cores are available on your host. So we're going to leave it as default. We're going to leave video card everything as default. Everything else is default. All right. So the next thing is the options menu here. Uh, we don't want to change anything in this area. Uh, but you can do, for example, is in the boot options, you can force the computer to boot from the BIOS if need be. Uh, and there's another number of other things that you can alter there as well, but we won't go over those today. So click on OK. Open up your console window. All right. You can also access it by right clicking open console. OK. And then we want to start it. All right. So you'll see that it's sitting there waiting for an operating system, uh, well, an, an actual ISO, for example. So what I've done is in here, I've selected a uh, OS that I want to install. In this case, it's going to be server 2012. Uh, so you can actually navigate to a CD, you can navigate to a, to a drive elsewhere, uh, but it has to be an ISO file in this case. So now that it's in there and loaded, I can kick off the install.
All right. So select. I'll leave. I'll leave all that as defaults. Now I want to select server 2012. Let's just install a standard one for now with the GUI. Custom, just make sure that the drive is picking it up, 80 gig, which is what we assigned for it. And then the process will start. All right, so this may take a little while to go through uh, and we'll have a look once it's finished. Okay, so the install's finished. It's rebooted the machine as well and now prompted for the uh, product key, which I won't do right now. So I'm gonna skip that. Otherwise you can enter it in now if you really want to. I'm gonna put in my administrator password that I want to use for this particular server. All right, now we want to do control or delete. Easiest thing is to go into VM, guest, control or delete, send control or delete. And then just throw in the password. All right, and that's essentially it. So that's your server 2012 installed. Um, now the other thing that I think is important is installing the uh, VMware tools onto this machine. Because uh, what you can find is as soon as you do a server install, your mouse is a little bit sluggish and there's a few other things that are a little bit sluggish. So uh, VMware have um, created tools for the OSs uh, to, I guess, uh, fix a lot of the bugs up and, and make it smoother transition when you're working with a server from within the vSphere console, all right? And to do that, you go into VM, guest, install, upgrade, VMware tools. Now, the other thing that you may notice is that once your mouse is in here, you can't actually get it out of the window, right? And that is one of the reasons is because VMware tools isn't installed. Um, well, that's the primary reason. To get out of that, as you see down the bottom there, it says to release cursor, press Control Alt. So if I press Control Alt, it releases my cursor and now I can move it within the, uh, the vSphere area as well as in here. So if I need to get access to in here again, just click on it and I'll get access to there as well. So we'll just wait for that window to pop up, which should pop up soon. So what we can also do is we can actually force the installer to disinstall rather than waiting for the auto start. So in your computers, you'll see that now you've got VMware tools here listed. So if you double click on that, and just follow the prompts, we'll leave it all as standard. Let that install. Once that installs, you're essentially set to go. So you'll have a fresh 2012 uh, server installed from within vSphere. And that's it. So then you can start your configuring as per normal. All right, so that's just finished, finish. And yes, to restart. Thank you for watching.